Hello, I'm Atu Jimmer and you're watching Hornbill TV Spam at 9. Now news and details. The Supreme Court on Friday directed the Nagaland Government and State Election Commission to conduct the election of municipalities and town councils by January 2023. A bench of Justice Sanjay Kisan Kaul and Justice M.M. Sundresh directed the elections of municipal councils to be held by January 2023 and thereafter listed the matter for compliance in February 2023. The Apex Court was hearing a plea filed by the People's Union for Civil Liberties concerning local body elections in the state. In the previous hearing, the top court asked the State Election Commission to file an affidavit mentioning the date when they will notify the elections. The top court had noted that the final publication of electoral rolls will be on November 24, 2022 and therefore called upon the State Election Commission to strictly follow the schedule without any extension being sought for the said purpose. The Konyak Union has informed that the Tizit civil society organizations will be imposing a blockade Chakka Band on NM Road, NH702. A statement from the Konyak Union of Tizit on July 29 informed that the decision to impose the ban was for non compliance to a letter in regard to the resuming construction work on NM Road. The first phase of agitations will begin from July 30 from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., which would be followed by the second phase of agitation, that is an indefinite road blockage in the contractor if the contractor in concern fails to resume with repair works on the road during the agitation's first phase. The statement said the paramilitary police teachers and students in uniform, administration and medical emergency cases are exempted from the first phase of agitation, the Konyak Union stated. Chief Minister Nipurio, who is in Bangkok, Thailand, to attend the Northeast India Festival today, briefly attended the Tourism B2B meet at Bangkok in Thailand. Suchitra Durai, Ambassador of India to Thailand, and Rajkumar Ranjan Singh, MOS for External Affairs, were also present at the meet. It may be mentioned that the second edition of the three-day Northeast India Festival began today in Bangkok. The festival marks 75 years of India's diplomatic relationship with Thailand and aims to promote trade, tourism, cultural exchange and people-to-people -people meet between the two countries. Naga Solidarity Walk, which was organized by the Global Naga Forum under the theme One People, One Destiny, peacefully culminated at Thamzam in Senapati district of Manipur. Thousands of participants from Nagaland, Assam, Arunachal and Manipur joined the Unity Walk. Participants walked 81 kilometers from Kohima to Senapati district, Manipur. Speaking to Hornbill TV, one prominent youth leader named 
with name withheld. He said he was elated to be part of such an event. It was quite emotional for him personally, he said. He further said that it's overwhelming to see the unity of Naga from across borders coming together for one cause and one solution with one goal. To sensitize and create awareness among the people to achieve a cleaner, sustainable Kohima and inculcating civic sense among the people, a Kohima-based group called Zip Zip has been cleaning roads in and around Kohima daily to attend litter-free Kohima. Speaking to Hornbill TV, Zip Zip's founder, Pelin Yo, said that the team had been focusing on cleaning and sanitizing the environment. Pelinio said everyone can be a part of the cleanliness drive to keep Kohima neat and clean. Also asking citizens to join the drive, she said people should understand their responsibilities and play an active role in keeping the town clean. She also said that lots of people think that Zip Zip is KMC and Smart City. Therefore, she requested to the team to make sure that the group gets portrayed as a separate entity. who came up with an initiative to build awareness and to sensitize the public on environment and to take care of one city, one town. So uh, we started on June 7th with the street cleaning and our main objective was to educate and to sensitize people on keeping your environment clean and using less plastics and using the dustbins that this one. Me and my team, we've been sharing this uh, story of you know, over 10, 20 years, we will have people coming in to clean the streets. We will have high-tech machines to come in and clean our city and to keep our city clean. But until and unless we, the people who are living in this community, who are from this place, do not take the initiative, and do not take the initiative to keep your own city clean and to use dustbins, I don't think we will reach a place where our state or our place will be. So what we are trying to do here is to educate. That is our story. It's been a year now, a year, one year, one month and some few days now. And then what we are seeing is a lot of changes. We started from uh, BOC, BOC till high school. So uh, in these locations, what we've seen is the taxi stands, they've started maintaining dustbins. You know, the bus stops, they have also started maintaining dustbins. Not that's been literally, but then they're keeping these thermal uh, buckets, uh, thermal uh, containers, can, so what we, we are so grateful to the people of Kohima for you know learning and being a part of what we're doing, and also you know coming in to encourage us. So thank you so much, people, and then we want to also encourage the people to you know work harder and uh, work towards. You know, creating a cleaner, a more, more beautiful and a sustainable life. I am an intern, uh, an 18-year-old student, interning at Zup Zup. The learning experience that I've gained over these past few days is that uh, I've been able to see Kohima at its core and um, see the environment, the situation, and as a student, analyze where the, uh, most of the pollutants are coming from. Most importantly, I have learned about the dignity of labor and how important it is for us as students to see uh, beyond what the societal aspects of us is labeled as and um, contribute and spread the value. Thank you. Thank you. Come greener, Adu. Excel, Aro, one man, we say. To come greener, Adu, man. This is changes we did say. Man, you to come grow do. Man, we educate grow le come grow lase. Aro, come greener, day Adu. BOC, Raju Point High School. You to mostly you to tinta do BOC kore. Aro, BOC Aro, uh, high school do. This is changes we say. Aro, sapa bi sapa. Mostly uh, taxi stand. Bus then you don't do this is a power share. Hello, thank you. Thank you. Mon come great yes, hello. Mon come crawl at the key name it again be that's been gonna be used crazy. Hello, the dragon be cushy cushy in a big guy. Hello, changes to see the gears here. Mon come green are do. Hello, I'm on the way in your crazy. Hello, it to worry a rope changes. I will like on it. It to worry a rope all the way. Mon crawl as a term you want get support green. The dragon you have to see in a big guy. That's been gonna use crazy. Hello, it to worry a rope in a month. 
सब मनु इतु माला कोई मज़ा तो पाल सब पार क्यों कोई ना सब मनु के रिक्वेस्ट करें जे Nagaland Tourism Department today signed a final agreement with the Trade Promotion Council of India to hand over the management of Institute of Hotel Management Dimapur. The agreement was signed by Kito Jimomi, Commissioner and Secretary Tourism on behalf of Nagaland Government and Deputy Director General of TPCI, Sandeep Das, in the presence of Advisor for Tourism and Arts and Culture, H. Kehovi Yaptomi. Actually, this is a long-felt dream that comes into reality. And it's a, I mean, like a great day for the Department of Tourism and also the TPCI. Uh, actually, in 2019, we inaugurated this main building to start the classes and all. But because of pandemic, we could not start the classes and all. Later on, we decided to run this uh, institution professionally, okay? And we requested the TPCI, they came forward, and the uh, MOU was signed in uh, 27 November 2021, actually last year during this uh, uh, International Tourism Mart. And there was uh, some anomalies to be corrected, so all this has been corrected and today a final agreement has been signed. This will be, you know, like uh, opening for the, especially the young youths, people, boys and girls in Nagaland. It is for them only. We have a lot of uh, talented youths. We have a lot of, uh, you know, youths uh, has the potentiality. So I think if we run these classes and all, it will it will greatly help the you know youth and then it will solve the unemployment problem in Nagaland also. So I'm very happy and I'm thankful to our Commission Secretary Sri Kito for his initiative. I'm also thankful to our Director Tourism Engineering Wing for supervising all this work and then I also acknowledge our TPSI team. Our director Asok Ji is here, Sandeep Ji is here, and then our former principal uh, IHM Guwahati is also here. So I wish all of you the best. I wish them for the I mean for the best, and this will greatly help our people. So now, sir, you have taken up the agreement now. So what are the various programs besides the hospitality you will be taking up in this institution? This is a private, uh, public-private partnership model in which uh, Department of Tourism, Nagaland and TPCI has entered for uh, running this institute successfully because the wonderful infrastructure which has been created by Department of Tourism, Nagaland and um, Central Ministry of Tourism for uh, empowerment of local youths connecting them uh, with uh, the best of the job opportunities, best of the educational edu opportunities in the hospitality sector, as you are aware. Um, Nagaland, the youth of Nagaland have enormous potential as far as in the hospitality sector. The only thing which we have to provide them is the right kind of education and connecting them with the right kind of opportunities not only in India in the hospital sector as well as in the globally. I'll just brief what TPCI is all about. Trade Promotion Council of India is a apex trade and investment promotion body recognized in the foreign trade policy government of India. And our job is to promote very, uh, the trade between countries, helping Indian businesses grow overseas. And what the opportunity, major opportunity we see from Nagaland by getting into this venture with the uh, Department of Nagaland is that if we can create youth of Nagaland, if we can educate them with the best of the standard, uh, world-class standard education in terms of hospitality, then we can probably help them placed in overseas assignments as well, which will help in the export of services in the hospitality sector, which will not only generate employment in the uh, in Nagaland, but also it will create a huge uh, forex revenue for the state as well. So these are, with these objectives, we have actually get into this thing and we hope, we are hopeful that in next coming months we will be able to start lots of, as we ask for the water courses we will do. Apart from hospitality courses like uh, graduation programs, post-graduation programs, then diploma level programs in various hospitality sector, 
Apart from those, we'll also do, uh, we wish to run a lot of skill development programs, short-term program in skilling, reskilling, because as you know, uh, hospitality segment is one segment where it's a mass employment generator. So, like you've mentioned earlier, by next month, we can expect the academic session to start, uh, or when can we expect? Exactly, not ex next month exactly. We are hoping that we'll be able to do it in, a, in between two to three months' time. So probably by end of September, October, we'll be able to run, take up and take the first batches. We are not sure whether we can catch, we'll try to catch up uh, this uh, uh, the academic session for the National Council for graduate program. If not, then we'll definitely start the diploma and the skilling programs. Because there, after this signing off of the agreement today and the handing over of the institute, now we'll go for the affiliation thing. That uh, some statutory things we have to uh, do. As long as fast as we'll try uh, finish those things, we can start the courses. The academic structures and everything will be as per the norms of the state government. Because at the end of the day, it is the state uh, institute of hotel management. Our role is to only to run this, this institute successfully and bring that, that expertise here. The institute is still a state government institute and it's a uh, public-private uh, partnership model. And this is the first of its kind in uh, such a segment which has been done in India. And this is a pilot project which has been done. Nagaland is the pioneer state who has get into such kind of agreement with the approval of the central ministry as well. On November 27, 2021, a Memorandum of Understanding was inked between the Department of Tourism and the TPCI to form an educational trust and to provide avenues to local youths of Nagaland. Advisor Yuptomi said that long-felt dream has come to reality and through this institute, he hoped that certain unemployment issues will be solved in Nagaland. Nagaland have a tremendous potential as far as hospitality industry is concerned. Because there are certain basic parameters which is required for hospitality, any hospitality sector. One of them is uh, fluency in English, good presentable way, and polite behavior. And obviously you will agree with me, all these three factors you get 100% as far as Nagaland is concerned. And from my experience with the IHMs, I can tell you from all over India, the student of Northeast, especially Nagaland's, are getting preference as far as campus interviews are concerned. So once when this will be in full-fledged operation, hopefully the campuses will come, big hotel chains will come, and not only hotels. Now the trend has become that those who are trained in hospitality, that means hotel management and others, they are getting ready absorption as far as job is concerned in other sectors. One of them may be in the hospitals. Because hospitals nowadays, especially the private one, is nothing less than five-star hotels. So whether it is housekeeping, whether it is reception, even management, HR. So these peoples are getting, that means the student passing out and having degrees or diplomas from hotel management are getting ready absorption. Then the retails. You go to any retails, you'll find more than 70% staffs are from hotel management. Once upon a time, it was the BPO. Now the BPO is coming down. Apart from that, most of my students, ex-students are now going abroad, especially in cruise liners, in Dubai, ready markets are there, even near to Bangladesh. So there is a lot of job opportunities. And if they want to be self-employed, Entrepreneurs, that is one of the mindset we are also trying to change. The things are changing. Not job, but create job. And that way, they can have their own enterprise right from their bakery. They can start bakery. They can start regional cuisine restaurants, specialty restaurants, fine dining restaurants. And even to other sectors, they can go. Startups. Nowadays it is startup. So many of the startups are absorbing our pass out, our alumni. So there's a huge job market. Only thing the quality training which these promoters are telling, they will going to impart. And then world is at their hand. What is your expectation? What is your vision and what you would like to share to the people of Dagna? Correct. 
See, at the onset, uh, I would definitely want to mention very categorically that there has been immense support on this PPP model, which is something unique, not only from the Ministry of Tourism in Delhi, but an excellent support from the government of Nagaland, with, I would like to mention here, immense support from Honorable Advisor, Ministry of Tourism, and also Commissioner Secretary Tourism, who have been very, very helpful in guiding us and bringing us to this destination wherein we feel confident that we can follow a very popular proverb called adopt, adapt and improve. So we have, with the cooperation and coordination of government of Nagaland, adopted this particular venture, the SIHM. We're going to improve it with our efforts, which is joint efforts, and we will definitely take it to the level of success. This is our vision, wherein we are, as mentioned by my other colleagues, we are definitely looking at a broader perspective. We want to bring to the table something different. And what is that something different is that we want that the students who are educated here get a higher level of exposure, both in education and in their professional life. We as Trade Promotion Council of India are connected world over. And we are definitely looking, and also within the country, we have over 3,500 members. And these members are, some of them are the top players in the industry of food and beverage. So the students who graduate out from here will not only get an opportunity to get jobs here in India, but also we'll try to take them abroad. Since we have connections abroad, therefore we do believe that the children will really benefit there will be job opportunities, better exposure of education, and at the end of the day, Nagaland will come on the map of the world as far as service in the hospitality industry is concerned. What is the duration of this agreement? This duration is for 30 years, and uh, we do believe that this is uh, a generational uh, experience we're going to have. And uh, we have taken up this challenge because we believe that once we've done the good hard work together, I'm sure we will take this forward and make a landmark within Nagaland. That's all we have for now. Keep watching Hornbill TV.